to my YouTube channel. Today, me and my family are off to Braintree for the day. There's an outlet called there, I believe it's called Freeport or something like that. But we're just going to go for there for the day, have a little look around, see what's about. It's basically just a shopping design outlet. So we're just going to go there, have a look, see what's around. So I thought I might as well bring you along with me and so see you can just see what's about there, really. Just in case you fancied going there, really. So yeah, come along with us. So before we go, I thought I'd quickly show you all what I'm wearing. So I've got this accessorised bakeware hat on that I've literally been living in. Basically, it's going to be highs of 8 degrees today, and obviously that's really cold in England. Well, I say really cold, it obviously does get colder, but it's quite chilly out. So obviously, got my hat on, so no heat can escape from my head, really. So yeah, i just got a hat on. And then I've just got this scarf on, just to kind of like bring a bit of colour to the outfit, because otherwise I'm literally just wearing all black. And then I've got this black jumper on, which is from Lipsy. It's last season's one, because it's got the bell sleeves. But I'm sure that they have some other ones in this season that are quite similar. And then I don't really know how much you can see, but I've just paired it with some black Jamie Topshop jeans. So to finish the outfit, I've just got these black Stuart Wiseman boots on. I believe they're called 50-50 or something like that. They go just over the knee at the front and to the knee at the back. And they've just got a little sit down side, but they are super comfortable. So yeah, they are literally super comfortable. I live in them this time of year. They're, they're suede, but they're protected, so they don't really get damaged that easy, to be honest with you. So yeah, that's our for the day, guys. So come along with us. So we've literally just arrived at Braintree. It's been quite a while since I last spoke to you because we literally got stuck in so much traffic. It literally took us about two hours to get here, and it's only like a 45 minutes to an hour journey at the max normally but yes yeah, so we've just got here it's lunch time now it's literally like quarter to one so we're going to quickly go and grab some lunch but yeah there's a nando's literally straight in front of us so we're just going to go in there before looking around the shops at brain tree so yeah i'll show you the food when it comes out in nando's We've literally just come out of Nando's. The food was really, really good. It's one of the best Nando's that we've had in a while. But yeah, we just had a meal platter um, between two of us. We got two meal platters each, obviously, because there's four of us, as <laughs> there normally is. But yeah, so we've just come out of Nando's now. We're just walking over to the, oh, the wrong way. But we're just walking over towards the outlet now. So I'll show you when we get there. The shops are in like house, it's kind of like vista kind of style. Sorry if all you can hear is wind, but I'm like trying to put it as close to me as possible. But yeah, we're just having a quick stroll around now. My brother's made a purchase already, but yeah, I'll show you some of the shops around in a minute. But yeah, we're just having a little stroll around, it's really nice. Sun's out, although it is very, very chilly. But yeah, we're all having an all right time so far. now I mean we've just finished and we managed to look around all the shops within just under two hours so I mean there's not a great deal there it's literally in a square and there's a few shops in the middle of the square but other than that there's not a great deal there so we're just on the way back to the car I didn't actually manage to buy anything while I was there but when you go to out some places like that sometimes you do manage to find stuff and other times you don't so today was one of the times I didn't actually manage to find anything but my brother did manage to find a few bits but yeah so Lucky day for him, not so much for me. But yeah, we're just on our way back to the car now. I'm going to start heading back. So, I'll see you in a bit. I don't know how much of that last clip that you can actually hear, but literally, it's the funniest thing walking around vlogging in Braintree. I mean, not many people must do it around here because, I mean, whenever I put the camera and try and like speak to it or anything like that, 
people just look at you as if you're like crazy. I mean, I didn't think speaking to a camera was that strange, neither did my dad, did you? <laughs> you didn't think it was that foreign either. <laughs> I mean, because around like in London and places like that, quite a few people you see just whack out a phone and speak to their phone like to the Instagram or just pull out a vlog camera, but apparently not many people around here do it. So, so yes, I did manage to acquire quite a few funny looks, but oh well, doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> so we're just on our way back to the car now. Hi guys, so I'm actually home now, um, as you can probably tell I'm actually in my room, not much has really changed, this is normally the place that I normally end these vlogs kind of now, but yes I'm actually home now, it took about two hours to get home but there was like four accidents or something crazy, so we ended up going like all different ways trying to like get round and because like roads were shut and all sorts of it was a bit of a nightmare to be honest with you, but we managed to get home so it's actually quite a bit late now, it's literally like nearly seven o'clock so quite a bit later to be honest with you so we're just gonna chill for a bit and um, grab something light to eat because obviously we had Nando's for lunch so there's no point having anything too heavy because obviously Nando's filled us up well and truly all right so yeah so we're just gonna chill for a bit but yeah brain treat was really good we've all said that we've had a nice time um like I said there, there isn't that many shops there like I said there isn't a great deal of shops there but the shops that are there are really good like, you've probably seen in the footage already that there's Ted Baker, Reese, Karen Millen um, Tommy Hilfiger, like, like there's loads and loads of brands there really but they are really good obviously today I didn't actually manage to find anything but that's alright I didn't really need anything to be honest with you I was just having a look and if anything caught me eye then I'd quite fancy it but no nothing really nothing really caught me eye I was like oh you really need me so I didn't actually end up buying anything because I probably said already but yes yeah like I said I would definitely recommend going just for the experience if you haven't already gone but if you do go then just bear in mind that it isn't the biggest design outlet that there is but there is still plenty to do there to be honest if you I mean there's Nando's, TGI's, there was a couple of other like food chains as well like round by the car park because where the food places is it's not actually in like the main outlet place and then you just kind of have to cross the road and for a little I don't know what it's called like a little walkway kind of thing and then you're into like the main outlet shops but yeah so that's literally all we did really but yeah it was a good day I hope you enjoyed coming to Braintree with us really before I end this vlog I thought I'd quickly show you what snacks I'm going to be eating tonight because I'm not that hungry to be having like another main meal or like I said earlier because I did have Nando's earlier but I am absolutely loving these Walker's oven baked fusions I mean these are gluten and dairy free they're not like in the actual gluten and dairy free stands but there isn't actually any gluten or dairy in the back of it so, so I mean they're absolutely fine and I really really like them to be honest with you they are just Walker's 50% less oven baked crisp really they're not that bad for you but none of the things at the bottom are red I don't know if you're going to be able to see that there you go so they're not actually that bad for you at all really so I've really been enjoying these lately yeah I'm absolutely loving these and obviously they are a bit spicy because they're spicy tomato and herbs and I'm just loving any kind of crisp with a bit of a kick lately. I don't know if it's because it's coming into warmer on it. I don't know if it's because it's coming into winter and I think it's going to like warm me up a little bit. Not that it ever does. But I mean, I just thought I'd quickly mention them. I'm going to literally, oh, put them on there. I just thought I'd quickly mention them to you just because I am absolutely loving them lately and they are new in. So, I mean, if you haven't tried them and you like quite spicy things, then I definitely recommend trying them because I literally really, really like them. So, yeah, that's the end of that little bit. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed coming along to Brain Chew with me, guys. If you did, please smash a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already. But, yeah, until next time, guys.